Hey folks, I have a few minutes this morning. I thought I'd make a quick video. Um, I just returned from a lengthy trip to the national parks, and uh, I travel with my dogs. And uh, I've traveled in the national parks for about the last 40 years, uh, pretty extensively. It used to be much easier to take your dog. You could take them on some of the trails and even into some of the buildings. That has completely changed. And I'd like to kind of comment on that a little bit. Um, my, my view after this trip is, is largely the fault of the dog owners themselves. Um, let me explain. Uh, one campground I was in, uh, a couple let their dog roam the campground free all night long. I woke up in the morning, its head was inside my tent. It disturbed my dog, and I'm sure disturbed the peace of all the other campers in that campground. And that couple was completely oblivious. Um, and then another time I'm at an overlook, and there's a couple of uh, women with a dog, and that dog just ran amok, and it created four or five problems with the other visitors at that overlook. And they kept going, oh, he's so sweet, we're sorry, we'll put a lead on him, we'll put a lead on him. They never made the most rudimentary attempt to control that animal. Uh, and it negatively impacted the experience of many visitors at that overlook. So what's a park superintendent supposed to do? They're charged with providing a, a safe and enjoyable environment for all the visitors. And if there's one group that has some special needs, like dog owners, um, um, they're going to have to put some rules on that if the dog owners can't be trusted to be responsible. Um, clean up after your dog, how about that? How tough is that? It's not someone else's job to step over your dog poop on the trail or clean it up for you. Uh, I saw people were just oblivious to that. And another thing that not a lot of dog owners have a problem with, and it's not just in the national parks, but in general, you know, a lot of people are terrified of dogs, and rightly so. They may have had a traumatic experience in the past with a vicious dog, um, and many parents are terrified that your dog is going to bite their child because it happens, and they're not unreasonable to be uh, concerned about that. And so when you, if you have a dog and you're in a public area or on a trail, something like that, put a lead on them and tighten it up and exhibit the fact that you have your dog completely under control and make your dog a positive experience and not a negative experience. The Park Service has no choice um, because dog owners have acted irresponsibly in the past. They've had to put rules down. Uh, so stop your whining. If you can't be a responsible dog owner, leave it at home. And if you do bring your dog to the park, try your best to make it a positive experience and not to negatively impact the visits of others. Um, it's everyone's national park, and they need to be treated with some respect. That's kind of my view on that. Um, uh, and uh, I'd love, you know, if you have any comments, put them below. be interested to talk to you about it. Um, that's Roscoe out.